Uh, first question is a natural question, but an unfortunate one. And a comparison should not be made in the way some people wish to make it. You always judge people when they are out of an office that they cannot return to, or when they are dead. This is the way you judge people in positions, in my humble opinion. So if somebody wants to do a comparison, we say between Kwame Nkrumah, Champong, uh, Liman, uh, Atta Mills, and Rawlings, you can understand where they are coming from because their, li their legacies are finite. You cannot add Nana Kufado to it because he's still present as we speak. You cannot add Jo Muhammad to it because he still intends to become a president and will become a president. And so when you ask that question, it leaves a lot of stuff. Then you have to look at how long people stayed. Kwame Nkrumah stayed for quite a while. Then you had, uh, first and foremost, Ankara. Then you had Okuteche. Then you had Buzia. Then you had Achampong. Then you had Akufu. Then you had Rawlings. Then you had Liman, then you had Rollins, then you had uh, Kufo, and it goes down. So on what basis are you making this comparison? To say one is better than the other is an unfortunate statement. What you should be saying is, you're comfortable with what somebody has done, or you're uncomfortable with what somebody did. To go down to that type of a comparison, then you must have the full debate. And so I'm not going to say A is better than B. What I do know is that Kwame Nkrumah stands tall, not because of what we Ghanaians say, but what the rest of the world says about Kwame Nkrumah. He's been called the leader of the millennium for Africa. So before you challenge him, make sure you are standing on a stone. And that is where I leave that to rest. And you definitely cannot do a comparison with him, with somebody who is still occupying a seat and being a president as we speak. This period of time is not over. Posterity can judge Nkrumah, but posterity has not yet begun to judge President Nana Akufuado.